It's the first of its kind in the United States. Ballot Health showing off life-saving technology that may one day significantly reduce the risk of a stroke. News 5's Maria Roberts here to tell us about this minimally invasive procedure. The cutting edge procedure uses micro mesh to prevent obstructions. When I observed the operation, the moment the new carotid stent was placed, you could see the blood flow to the patient's brain immediately. So that's the stand in. You can see it. Dr. Chris Metzger is leading the first U.S. clinical trial cases on SeaGuard embolic protection system at Holston Valley Medical Center. So people who have significant blockage or people who have had symptoms of mini strokes will potentially benefit from this. The carotid stent was first developed over 25 years ago to reduce the risk of stroke. But there's still a small risk of stroke, 3% of a minor, 1% of a major, maybe a little bit higher in some cases. And you say that's great unless it's you or your family. Metzger says the goal of his trial is to bring the risk of stroke down to zero. This technology um, it takes this carotid stents that work so well and add to it a tiny micro mesh layer on the outside of it, kind of like a screen door, if you will, so that less chance of getting anything that would get to the brain to cause a stroke. This is a novel mesh carotid stent designed to improve patient safety through sustained embolic protection. In layman's terms, it's designed to save lives. The clinical trial will involve 315 patients. 63 of which will be treated at Holston Valley. These are people who have obstructive carotid lesions, so the blockages in their carotid artery. As you know, the carotid artery goes to the brain, and a really tight blockage there puts you at risk for a stroke. The 30-minute procedure is minimally invasive, and only 3% of patients will need any adjustments to their stent. What we're doing here today is not yet being done at some of those top-ranked uh, health systems in the United States, but, but it's being done here. Dr. Metzger performed six procedures today. He says the new tech will be rigorously studied before it's submitted to the FDA for approval.